Hi guys, so this week's tutorial will be different. It's not going to be about cards. I'm going to show you my first mini album, which is this one. So what inspires me to make a mini album is that aside from seeing lots of great mini albums here on YouTube, is that I want to reuse all the stuff that I have at home that I think it's really really good for this and um, just a week ago we bought something big and inside the box there is this cardboard and it looks like this actually it's a long one and I just don't want to throw it so I thought about reusing it and I just cut it into five by five and a half, I guess. And this is what happened. And so after that, I there's um, at the end there's this thing remaining, so I just use it as a pattern so that I know where to put um, the holes. To make this one and so I just use my my um, regular hand puncher this one to make this holes and then yeah that's it and this first page what I did was um, peel I just peeled some parts of the cardboard and then some of it just leave it the way it is and then um, after that I painted it with the acrylic paint the brown color which you can find any in any craft store and um, after that I put some gloss on it and then I think it's the gl gloss glaze that has same packaging as the acrylic paint and then after that I I have this lace which I got from the thrift store before if you saw my video about thrift store haul it's actually the white um, lace ribbon and I just stained it using um, ink pads different colors of ink pads so that's how it is and also this one I added this ribbon here which is really really nice you're gonna see this ribbon in every pages that I made and this Prima flowers I just got from Michaels and you won't see any blinks here I just used whatever scrap that I have right in the middle I just punch it with a plain brown cardstock and then this one this is actually um, a fiber a, it has a wire inside actually and covered with fiber so I really really like it and the color really matches um, matches the colors that I used in this album and so I just actually left it plain because um, I actually want to give it as a gift and I just want them to decide whatever they want to put in this album or any messages that they want so I just left it plain all of the pages are plain. There is no notes or any messages. So moving to the next page. Okay. This one, this is the back of the cardboard. I actually got a piece of magazine, a really, really nice piece of magazine. It has like a thicker paper. And so I just um, stain it with different kinds of, I think it's the distressed, um, ink pad by Tim Holtz and I just stain it everywhere and then brush it and then you probably seen this paper from my last card video so I just put it there and some Prima flowers again and covered here with like a cream lace color ribbon and then I added this bird which is really cute and these two tags right here one we added some 
um, leaves, different kinds of leaves. And they can put picture here or in this tag. And I added this um, thread. This is actually for cross stitch thread. Next one is, um, I don't know if you can see it well, but I actually painted this mix of greens, violets, yellows, and brown color of acrylic paint, and the ribbons also. Okay, next page. So I do the same thing. It's actually a magazine, and then I just stained it with um, ink pad, different kinds of ink pads. This one, I think I used yellow and brown and then cover it with the same pattern of paper because I just, you know, I just want to use my scraps. I want to make sure I use everything before I buy a new one. So I have this bird again and the, um, the ribbons. And I actually put a gloss on it. So I think you can see it well. It's really shiny. And also I added like a little tree here. I stamped that one. That's a tag. And for this one, it's just really plain. It's just um, the cardboard that I I peeled some of it. So it looks like that. It's kind of looks like a map. And I just covered it with um, a green acrylic paint and gloss it. And then I just added the ribbons and the flower. So it's actually like really really simple one. For the next page this is um, it's the same thing. It's a magazine that I stained with ink pad and then this is a tag. So you notice I just use one kind of paper for um, for tags and for some borders because as I said I just want to use my scraps and then this one uh, this is a burlap roll this is a natural kind of paper and I use this if you remember I use this in making my storage box tutorial so this is the one that I use and here's this little bird again okay and a very nice prima flower Next page is, I actually painted this also with same colors, browns, yellow, green, and violet, and it's just all mixed up. So it's kind of like brownish violet color. And I put some photo corner just right here, so you can add photos here and all that stuff and here's prima flower the lace and they added plain ribbon at the middle so the next one here's the magazine again that I made using ink pad and gloss and added some lace and this one I got it from the thrift store haul that I had before and it's really really nice for making this album. And here's the tag. Has a little tree. Here's the prima flower. Okay. And then on the last page, I just colored it. I mean same thing. I just peeled some of it and then painted with the acrylic paint. I think it's a like pale yellow color. And then I did the same thing here for making this light. It was just plain white and then I just stained it with different kind of ink pad colors. Alright, and that's the back of an album. Alright, that's it. Hope you like this mini album that I made and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.